a special atmosphere and a grand occasion. One the players and fans alike have been anticipating in the tension-laden days leading up to this fixture. But now the talking has to stop and the football must take over. Who's going to emerge victorious? It's a hard question to answer. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live from London here on EA TV. And a warm welcome. Our venue for this game is the Emirates Stadium in North London. I'm Derek Ray and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Arsenal up against Crystal Palace. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Saka, and he takes it on. Can they slot it home? Danger averted for now. starters for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale is the goalkeeper. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And the main striker here is Edward Nketiah. And introducing the visitors lineup today. Well, they're going to play with two wingers here, but I'm just a little bit worried that the centre forward could become isolated. Therefore, the midfield players need to get forward as much as possible in this 4-3-3 shape. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. What are you expecting to see from him, Stuart? Well, Derek, what confidence he's playing with at the moment. Second top scorer in the competition, and I expect him to have more impact again today. And Arsenal now find themselves in potentially a dangerous position. White. Ben White. Nkesia. Is it going to be? And there it is! The opening goal, the ideal way to start. Well, here it is again. And just look how he creates this chance. That's so inventive. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. And back underway. 1-0 it is. That's a good pass. Well, the cross was acceptable, but no one there to thump at home. It was on its way in. Well cleared away. Jeffrey Schrupp. And Lerma. Take it away. He won the ball. Martin Erdogan. And Kessia. Effective looking pass. And he stopped them in their tracks. Clearance wasn't decisive. But it looked so threatening, but the danger averted. A very effective challenge put in. Declan Rice. Havertz. Just the challenge that was required. Joel Ward. Credit 
it to him for the challenge and the throw in conceded Havertz Marcinelli and now with Havertz a tremendous block Joel Ward I don't think he'd be proud of that challenge and it's left to the referee to decide what happens next and the early shower this is going to be a real test of their metal well it's a straight red and rightly so but how will they replace him they've got to reorganise now Delivered into the box. Are you? Now breaking at pace. Potential danger. Looked like an effective counter attack, but brilliantly read. Marcinelli. Decides to shoot. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. Determined defending. Ezzy. Ducouré. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Erdogan could play it in Ben White and will they be able to play it in behind the defence well read to put an end to that attack Try his luck here. Well, after that attempt, gobbled up by the keeper. Individual brilliance. And players waiting in the centre. And he clears it out of harm's way. And taken cleanly by the goalkeeper. Doesn't have to do it on his own. Just can't get it past him. And Kessia. Defensive roadblock in the way of that cross. Just cutting off the supply. Might be a chance to break. And the counter-attack came to nothing. Could prove to be a big miss. Surely has to score there. Well, here we can see it again. Incredibly close, but the correct decision. No goal. Mark Guehi. Eberechi Essi on the ball. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Space and time for Arsenal. Now let's see about the cross. And you need your defender to take charge. Now perhaps they can counter from here. And threading it through. He might profit from here, you know. Well, we like to call things as we see them, Stuart. And I must say, he's got that one horribly wrong. Well, it's a poor decision in the end. It's way off target. 
And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. Kai Havertz. Eberechi Ezi on the ball. Ayu. And defensive play to be applauded. And there it is, the referee's whistle for the first time. advantage Arsenal after the first 45 minutes but still a long way from being decided here it opens up for Havertz opportunity Top-class defending. Oh, it might be. Spectacular save. Top-class goalkeeping. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Still not clear. Marcinelli. Well, the supporters think it's on. Nicely blocked. Effective press. Certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play. A chance to whip it in. Plays it back. Now the perfect position to read it. Rice. And that brings the attack to an end. This was the chance they could get caught out on the break here. Well, it broke down, alas. Well, as we've seen, Arsenal have dominated the ball in the last 15 minutes, and their attacking play has been excellent. Surely only a matter of time before they extend their lead here. Well, let's see if they can win the ball back and create something else. Well, unfortunately, not very convincing at all with that effort. Well, he made a mess of that. Just didn't make a good connection, did he? Uegi. With it, there to win it back. And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. Who can he pick out? Oh, that's not a good clearance. Well, just the tackle that was needed. Now the quick counter-attack could be on. And just like that, the counter-attack comes to an end. Nketiah. And now Havertz might still be able to do a bit of damage. Well, no problems defensively. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. And teammates around him. Well, thumps clear. Look. 
intercepted effortlessly. And Kessia. He read it well, but still work to do. An encouraging Arsenal move. Showing a lot of guile there. Well, he made sure there was absolutely no way through. Ducouré. Will Hughes. Crossing possibilities. This could level it. Oh, but the keeper with an important save. How important is that? Well, he should score from there. That's a wasted opportunity. He should beat the keeper from that sort of distance. Well, looking to increase the lead, but not accurate enough there. Yeah, that was half a chance to extend their lead, as you mentioned. But they couldn't quite take it, could they? So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Save has kept him in this game. They now need to create one or two chances of their own. Terrific block. Clean challenge. Ezzy. The timing was perfect. Ball one. of an hour remaining here. And Palace unable to retain possession. And Gabriel Jesus, he's in behind. Oh, a goal for Arsenal! It's theirs to lose now. goal again and it's a really nice ball to put him through the vision to set up the chance is outstanding and then the perfect finish from Jesus he really does hit this with power that's an excellent goal so underway again and a 2-0 advantage here Ezzy it's a good Palace move in the making. Chance to play it in. Pulls it back. And it goes to alter the arithmetic and give them hope that they can turn this round. Well, let's have another look at this because he does really well to pick the right pass here. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. Here. Let's 
see about the delivery. Not really the ideal clearance. Gabriel Jesus. It's with Gabriel. Tidy defensive play. There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left and the margin just one. So the final whistle fast approaching. It's Arsenal with a narrow lead in this one. Stuart, what have you made of their performance? Well, they've certainly controlled the tempo of the game and just about deserved their lead. But they've got to keep their concentration right to the end here. Arsenal get the advantage from the referee. Good play it in. Oh, thwarted there. And what a piece of defending we've just witnessed. And using his strength to shield the ball. Will he shoot? The fans hope so. Well, quite simply, that is a wasted chance. And a blunder by the keeper. Sheikh Dukure. And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. Arsenal couldn't keep the ball. Can he find the right pass? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Well, the pass not coming close to hitting the target. Showing good width here, Palace. Utterly disappointing cross. Goal kick. Kai Osaka and the referee blows his whistle now we can say it officially Arsenal have won this game three points for them what did you make of it all well Derek they didn't dominate the game by any means today but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win well this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance hasn't he Stuart well that performance sums him up really you're never disappointed with what he gives you such a good player